The new AP African American Studies course has been criticized by some people across the country, calling it propaganda and in some cases worrying about how it will make some students feel. And so that prompted us to get an inside look at how one Fairfax County High School teacher over at South County High School is teaching it and what the course is all about. Over about six months, I sat in on the class about five times. And after each of the lessons or projects, I had the chance to talk to students about not only the lesson at hand, but also just the, how the course had been going in general. And one one of the big themes really was the way that it gave them a new sense of pride, the way they talked about the fact that in traditional history classes, you learn about things like slavery, right? But you don't really get to dive into things that come before or after that. There's no time for that. You're just going within the class curriculum. But this class really allowed the students, as they shared with us, to go in depth in some topics that they perhaps wanted to learn more about and just couldn't in some of their other history classes. So we talked to Sean Miller, who is a teacher at South County High School in Lord and he, for the last couple of years, has actually taught an African-American studies course, just regular course, right? And so now this advanced placement course was rolled out and he was eager to teach that. And this is a traditional AP course, right? So there's a ton of reading, there are a ton of assignments, there are projects, there's an AP exam. His feedback really was, this is a course that is both challenging but also essential for st all students to take to understand a sense of history that goes beyond what you might get in a surface level history class. Coming up later this week at WTOP, we're going to take a look at how another local school district is teaching the class, and we're also hearing from a leader at Howard University about how the class has evolved over time.